I hope you're having as good a Thursday as I am. I, I stopped by one of the tractor stores and uh, he handed me a pen and I said, well, where are the free hats? Right here. Got the free hat. So Van Wall, go green, go tractors. Anyhow, I wanted to talk to you today about the value, what it's worth. So I got some water here. This bottle right here is at Menards. There, you can buy 24 of them for $3.10, which would make this approximately 13 cents. This is a 13 cents bottle of water. This one is at Casey's. This one's a buck 29, a buck 50, right in that ballpark. This one is a special one. It's at the arena, Wells Fargo Arena. This, is, this one's $5. This one's $5. They're all the same, but where they're located changes their value, doesn't it? It's interesting how we see the value of stuff. I, I'm reminded of the story about they were at the auction and there was this old violin and it was there and the auctioneer's like, can I get a bid? Can I get a, a, a five, a 10, a 20? And, and nobody was bidding and this old man wandered up and he adjusted it and he tuned it and he began to play it. You see, it changed the value. Suddenly it's worth thousands and hundreds because in the right hands. You see, sometimes you feel like you're a Menard's water. You're worth about 13 cents. But I'm telling you that God sees you as a stadium water. You're worth five bucks, 10 bucks. You're worth way more because it says that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He saw you worthy, worthwhile to die, to give his life for you. So you have immense value. As we're approaching Easter, to remember he loves you. In fact, one of the guys that we had a funeral for, he would tell his kids, I love you and I'm proud. Your heavenly father is saying to you, I love you and I'm proud of you. Have a great Thursday. And there might be a bonus Thursday, but later today.